never seen. A superstar in the game of basketball. Playing a game seven as badly as James Harden played this past Sunday in Boston. Now, Embiid stunk too. Let's be real. Embiid was a disappointment. He was my vote for league MVP. I don't regret it one bit. He deserved it. But I expected the MVP to show up Sunday. I didn't expect what I saw. I didn't expect him be to score 15 points on 5 of 18 shooting. One for six in the second half for two points. And do absolutely nothing but engage in a disappearing act, become the invisible man when Boston went on a 33-10 to 10 run in the, in the third quarter to blow him out of the building, out of the state. Having said that, do you know how bad you must be if we forget to mention the league MVP because we're focused on how bad you were? That was James Harden. Now, you might not like me, because of what I'm saying. I happen to have a lot of love for James Harden. I think he's a good dude. I think he's a good person, and I think he's a star caliber player. But damn it, the effort was too flagrant to ignore. James Harden scored nine points. James Harden shot three of 11 from the field, one of five from three, finished with five turnovers. The Sixers were up 3-2 going into game six, where they had an opportunity to close out Boston. And then game seven, when they had another opportunity to pull it off. In those two games, you know what James Harden did? A combined 22 points of 7 for 27 shooting. That's 26%. One of 11 from three-point range. Ten turnovers. Both losses. You know how atrocious you have to be to have numbers like that? That was just an abominable performance. I mean, it was one of those situations where he should shave off his beard just to disguise his identity so no one will know it's him. That's how damn bad it was. Let me give you another stat. Do you know that in the 11 playoff games James Harden played this postseason, six against Brooklyn, okay, and the five before these last two, okay, this brother had like six games where he shot less than 25% from the field. Obviously, now it's seven and eight games. Did you know that in this seven-game series, Harden dropped 45 in game one, 42 in game four. The other five games, he made four field goals or less in each of the five games. He couldn't even put together five field goals. This is a three-time scoring champion. This is a former league MVP. This is the same dude that led the league in assists this year. That averaged over 20. The only thing worse than James Harden was that sorry, trifling ass Ben Simmons. How the hell you going to say something about any basketball player? This dude goes on Twitter yesterday. And I, and I tried to be nice to Ben Simmons. I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt. I, I started off the season saying, give him a chance. How the hell are you talking about a basketball player when you treat putting on a basketball uniform and dribbling on the basketball court to go play when you treat that as if somebody asked you to get on the front lines in Ukraine to fight Russia? That's how scared he is to play basketball. That's how scared he is. I mean, he's the one that's talking about it. They brought up mental his illness. I didn't bring that up. I didn't say anything about that. I'm not making light of something like that. He brought that up. He said that was rationale. He said that he needed therapy. He said that he needed to talk to people. Then it's a back injury. Then it's a knee injury. It's all of these excuses not to play. But that brother never missed a check, though. He always makes sure the check is in the account. Always. And you are talking about James Harden in the 76ers, the team you quit on? The team you left hanging, the team that you were supposed to help deliver a championship as the number one overall pick in the draft, you, 
You! That's you! Boy, I better not see him. I better not see Ben Simmons. All I'm going to do is look at him. It's going to be one of these. That's all I can think. It's not because you play bad. James Harden play bad. Ain't got to live with that. But he ain't you. At least he showed up. 